Yo! Alright, what's up? Today we're going to be talking about a lens that every single Canon shooter should have. Without a doubt, it's one of the lenses that you have to have in your bag at all times. Photographer, videographer, whoever you are, you need this lens. Alright, hold on one second. Alright, here it is. This is what we're talking about today. It's a 50 millimeter lens. They call it the Nifty 50. Alright, and the reason that they call it that is because it's cheap, and it's awesome. It's an incredible lens. I bought this thing back in 2010 when I got my first T2i. And it's still one of my favorite lenses because of its capabilities. The low light capabilities on this lens are incredible. So say you're at a wedding or you're shooting a concert or something like that and there's some low light situations. That's when I always take this thing out of my bag and strap it on the camera. Um, at 1.8, you can shoot really, really nice picture quality at a lower ISO. If you have a different lens on that's say maybe uh, 4.5, then you got some problems because then you gotta take and crank that ISO way up and then you're talking about grainy picture quality and, and things like that. It's a hairy situation that you don't wanna be a part of. Um, this is a prime lens. You'll notice that there is no zoom ring or anything like that. So basically, if you have this thing on a camera and you're shooting, you physically need to be moving your whole body. The whole camera body apparatus needs to move closer and further from your subject, depending on what you're shooting. Um, you can find these things on Amazon for like $120, maybe $135. But if you're a Canon shooter, it's a must have. Um, I feel really lucky to have gotten this uh, for the price that I did. I paid 85 bucks for this 10 years ago. Um, I'm not sure if Canon just kind of thought that this wouldn't catch on or this wouldn't be something that people want, but it's a popular product and people want it. So the price has gone up a tiny bit since its, uh, its release. So. Let's go ahead and switch up lenses real quick. I'll show you what it looks like on here, and then we'll jump into an awesome B-roll segment, and you guys can see what I'm talking about as far as the depth of field and how awesome that looks. All right, so we got the 50 millimeter prime lens hooked up to the camera right now. Um, we're shooting at 1.8. You can tell because of this depth of field we got going on. Um, everything in the background is pretty blurred out. We're pretty sharp right up here. Um, I was able to take and dial my ISO down to 320 because we're shooting at 1.8 with this lens. This is the lens I was shooting with. This is the Sigma 12 to 24, um, but it's a variable aperture lens. So at 12, it shoots at 4.5, which is okay. But as you crop in or zoom into 24 millimeters, then you go to 5.6. So you're missing out on a lot of extra light. Um, that's no good. Go ahead, have a look at some B-roll that I just shot with the 50 millimeter lens. segment that I shot a little earlier today on the Nifty 50. So you guys can tell why this lens is a great piece of equipment to have in your bag. It just, it looks so cinematic and, and things just look so good. Um, like I said, it's a cheap lens. You guys should grab one. If you're a Canon shooter, there's no reason why you shouldn't have this lens. It's literally like $120 or maybe 130 at the most but it'll be the greatest investment that you make. I guarantee you that. You will use this lens all of the time. If you're not a subscriber to my channel already, I would love it if you went and hit that subscribe button, or if you're feeling saucy, give me that thumbs up. With 2018 right here, I just like, I wanna take and I wanna make this channel succeed, and I hope that I can count on your support. Uh, it's very important to me, 
and I hope that you guys enjoy watching my videos. So that was the Nifty 50. We'll see you guys later.